Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. This week, we're going to make history on the channel because we, together, are going to run the first ever Lionel High Speed Polar Express train set. What? It's hard to put my excitement into words as I never planned to buy this set. And there were so many mixed reactions when Lionel announced it last year. What, 2021, I think it was? No one will buy that set. What are they thinking? Me. This guy right here. Not only did I get this set, but I'm so glad I did because it's packed with cutting edge features and it really has a lot of great new features and great improvements over the original set from 2005. At the end of the day, this is a Lionel Amtrak Acela that's painted like the Polar Express, but it comes with plenty of Christmas spirit. This is the Polar Express. I've been having a ton of fun with this set and I can't wait to dive into it and show all of its features to you right here on this video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Lionel announced the Legacy High Speed Train sets and the 2021 Volume 1 catalog. The primary sets that Lionel cataloged included the Amtrak Acela and its prototypical paint, as well as the concept paint. So both of these were the prototypical looks. The 2005 Amtrak Acela set that we've run here on the channel features the prototypical look. So when I was thinking about getting one of these sets, I had to browse through the fantasy schemes that Lionel had created. But not all of the fantasy schemes made the cut. But lucky for us, the Polar Express paint made the cut. Rumor has it that Lionel made the Polar Express high-speed set in very limited quantities. In fact, as of the date of this video, they are already sold out of all the Polar Express sets that they made. Engineer train 30 to dispatch. We're tied down and marking off. Out. I was able to find this one at trainworld.com. Ken Jr. and the team are a great group of people to work with, and I was really excited that they had these in stock, and they still have some left. So if you're looking for them, check them out. The train set is literally a hybrid between two of our favorite sets, the Polar Express and the Amtrak Acela High Speed Set. Two very different sets that you would never think would run together, and yet here they are blended together in this striking train set. Time to get technical. Let's talk about the specifications of this massive train. The set is 14 feet long, and the set that you're seeing is the core set, which includes the two powered locomotives and three coaches. And I also have the add-on set, which is three additional coaches, one of them being the Station Sounds Bistro car. You really have to have all of the pieces to bring the full experience of this train to life. The sounds and station announcements on this set are a major improvement over the original. It has updated features, such as talking about Wi-Fi. Yes, we have free Wi-Fi available on the train. And some of the more modern things that you hear on the train. But don't worry, because this is a Polar Express set, we still got plenty of dialogue from the Polar Express film blended into the train. Told you. The interiors of these passenger cars have phenomenal details. If you look inside of the Polar Express set, you're going to see specific details to the movie, such as the hot chocolate car. Look at this big vat of hot chocolate. Delicious. And the last car features the young character who hasn't quite realized that he has lots of friends on the train yet. But there he is sitting there just waiting for his moment to shine. Let's go trackside with this high-speed Polar Express set and check out some of the features up close. This is gonna be fun. 1225 is the locomotive that's next to me, of course, for the Polar Express. Notice on track two, we have the Lionel Legacy Polar Express Burke with the heavyweight passenger cars, and we're gonna run both of these sets together tonight. But let's go over the features on this train. I have this set programmed as a train, which means I have the powered locomotive on the head end, and I have the powered locomotive at the rear of the train and the bistro car programmed to work together. So we're going to go ahead and do the startup sequence. Check this out. Awesome. So you'll see, our system is up. That's the sound. Oh, I love that sound. 
Our pantograph is up and in the position for the train to move forward. If I put the train into reverse, you're going to notice my headlights will change and my pantograph will change position. Check this out. Technology. That's so awesome. Oh, it's so cool. We're going to go back into our forward position. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. I'm probably wearing you out. So cool. Let's listen to some of that crew talk that I mentioned. This is five head in. I'm made up. Am I clear outbound? Over. Am I for track order? Out. All right. Well, they're going to make us wait anyway. But of course, like I promised and like I told you, we have plenty of film dialogue as well. Sometimes seeing is believing. Check out this. The Polar Express that gets you to the North Pole in record time. Let's look at some of the other features on this train. So next to me is the hot chocolate car, or the bistro car. What this car does is it provides sounds of the passenger experience and of course the conductor and the crew that's serving the people that are riding the train. So it has its own set of sounds. Check this out. First, you get the doors opening sound. Stand clear of the doors. Now, like I said, the difference on this set versus the other one is that the doors do not operate on servo control, but you do have doors that can pop open like this. So you can open them with your hand and you'll see when you open them, the marker lights do come on. This is good if you're setting scenes, maybe you're doing some different type of videography, or maybe you have a station area where you want to show passengers getting on and off. It's great to have that kind of control. I don't miss the servos on these, because they were a bit problematic. And I know that a lot of folks had some issues with them. Now let's check out some of these sounds I was mentioning. First, we have the boarding announcements. And one of my favorite things, and I want you to listen carefully, are the sounds of the station platform itself. Check this out. Attention please, the Polar Express has arrived. Please stand clear of the doors. Watch her stop getting on the car. We have the conductor sounds as well. We would like to welcome you aboard at this time. Watch her stop getting on the car. Attention, please. The Polar Express has arrived. So it's telling us it's arrived because we were moving and we stopped. You can actually toggle between it telling you that it's arrived or that it's departing based on if you hit the AUX1 button. Attention, please. So I've toggled now, so you can control whether you want it to say that we're leaving or we're coming back. We would like to welcome all ticketed passengers aboard. We would like to welcome you aboard at this time. All right, so let's get moving. All aboard. All aboard. Let's see these trains in action rolling around the layout. And of course, as per the usual, it's a high speed set, so we're gonna run it fast. Enjoy.
always liked these whimsical looking paint jobs. Let me know what you think about Lionel's fantasy schemes. Are you a fan? Do you prefer the prototypes? Or do you like both? As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RVP Trains. We'll see you next time.